Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's talk a little bit about reducing fractions. Specifically, um, and one of the things we need to keep in mind is that um, <clears throat> when uh, the numerator when the numerator uh, completely cancels, numerator, right? Numerator and the denominator. When the numerator cancels completely, it becomes a 1. So let me give you a couple of quick examples so you know what I'm talking about. So x, um, x, y. The answer to this is what? Well, we know we're going to cancel the x here at the top on the numerator and the denominator, denominator, but we have to leave a one up at the top. So one y. Um, let's try another one. Uh, Z a, and we have uh, four z a. X. So we know this. Uh, we know the one. The numerator is going to be one, and the denominator is going to be four x. Right. So again, uh, numerator cancels. If it cancels completely, it becomes a one. Thanks for watching.